at the 2009 Massage Therapy Foundation uh, donor reception, we started a new tradition. And that tradition was the beginning of what we are now calling the Bob King Humanitarian Award. Last year, uh, our first recipient was Bob King, an icon in our profession, who truly epitomized everything that this award is about. To announce this year's winner, I, would, I am so pleased to introduce to you Marshall Donicky and uh, Linda, are you coming up also? Sure. Linda Solon Wolf, um, who from Performance Health Incorporated. Thank you very much. Come on up. So this is uh, this is like the Academy Awards now. Yes. We don't have that, we don't have that script in front of us. I do have a script that I'm going to, going to read off of this to make sure I don't uh, leave anything important out. But good evening, everyone. My name is Marshall Donaghy. I'm delighted to be here representing Performance Health while recognizing a tremendous individual. This is our second year awarding the Massage Therapy Foundation uh, Performance Health Humanitarian Award, and we look forward to many more. Performance Health thanks the Massage Therapy Foundation for this support and allowing us to jointly honor individuals that give so much to this profession. I've learned from personal experience that there are two types of people in this world. Those that brighten a room when they enter and those that brighten a room when they leave. <laughs> That, that applies more outside of this profession. <laughs> as all of us strive to be those that add energy and light as we enter, our humanitarian award serves to recognize exceptional people offering exceptional service and reminds us all of the greater purpose for why we are here. Last year's inaugural award honored two veteran massage profession supporters and true humanitarians, Bob and Kathy King. We are all saddened with Kathy's passing and Bob's loss since the award was given last year. One bright light has moved on, yet every one of us has the opportunity and even responsibility to step up to serve as Kathy served, to lift as Kathy lifted, and to touch as Kathy touched. In the King's honor, the following quote from Bob King will be included on every Massage Therapy Foundation award. Through service, we learn to be present, to trust the power of touch, and to explore the mystery of healing. During our selection for a recipient to receive the award in 2010, I found it energizing and uplifting that so many people associated with massage give so much of their time and of themselves. So many of you are true humanitarians. You share your time and talents with charities, supporting fundraisers, hospitals, schools, organizations, sporting events, international missions, and, and research for the massage profession. This is truly a blessed profession because of the service-minded and caring people it attracts. And for that, I say thank you. I feel honored to know you, to work with you, and to support you. And to pick just one person among many deserving individuals is difficult each year. Performance Health commends every one of you for all that you do to promote and support the massage profession and the people you serve. <clears throat> At Performance Health, we work with a number of clinical disciplines. And of all the professions our company works with, the massage industry definitely has the biggest givers with the largest hearts. Many, many people who brighten the room as they enter. So thank you for that. This year's Humanitarian Award recipient has worked in this profession for over 10 years and has been a standout in the massage community. They are a, a Reiki practitioner and a certified reflexologist. We're starting the clues here. 
<laughs> Their love for the massage industry was deepened through a powerful yet personal life-changing experience. Our recipient gave birth to a little girl who was the stronger of a pair of twins and sadly the lone survivor. By little, she weighed just one pound, six ounces. It was only 12 inches long. This little fighter faced many, many challenges. Her mother was unable to hold her for months. During that time, this tiny baby made slow progress. She was getting stronger, but it was a very gradual process. Once she was able to experience the loving touch of family, friends and therapists all began to see a positive and accelerated turn in her development from the benefits that massage and the power of touch provide. Today this girl continues to receive various therapies including massage. Despite setbacks, she is now six years old, attending school, and most importantly, thriving. This experience is validated by research, and more research is needed. Everyone present here tonight knows there is benefit from touch and massage, even for premature children. Research gives medical validation to what most therapists already know in their hearts. Simply put, touch heals. <clears throat> With continued research, the crusade to make massage and medical massage even more mainstream becomes an ever-increasing reality. Achieving this reality is one of the driving forces behind an ongoing fundraising event called Sanctuary. The Massage Warehouse Sanctuary, which was started in 2007, was the brainchild of this year's recipient and raises money for critical research led by the Massage Therapy Foundation. To date, the sanctuary has raised over $50,000 for the massage, for massage therapy research. And the quest continues. Our recipient has been committed to raising awareness and funding for massage therapy research through philanthropic projects like sanctuary as well as corporate and private fundraising events. This year's recipient is the Director of Massage Business Development and Corporate Sales for the Massage Warehouse, a, direct, uh, a division of Script Companies, and has served on the corporate work group for the Massage Therapy Foundation. This deserving award winner is a friend and inspiration to most of us in this room. Please join me in proudly and warmly honoring Angie Patrick. sentence all the way out. As the 2010 Performance Health Humanitarian Award winner, on behalf of Performance Health, we present this check for $2,500 to be donated to the Massage Therapy Foundation in your name to further your love of research and the continued elevation of this profession. Thank you. doesn't permeate everything that I do 
would be silly. And I just wrote an article that says this. It yes. has a roof over my head. It it feeds my family. It it sur it, it surpasses everything. It in, it involves every part of my life. My daughter's care. Thank God that there's massage because I have health care. Thank God that there's massage because I have a job. And because of that passion that I feel for that, and, and the importance that I think it, it holds not only for me, but for every massage therapist out there, we need to ensure the future. We're the stewards of the future. And I am committed to doing everything I can to further the research and to be recognized for doing something that you love. You have no idea how it feels to be standing up here right now. Maybe you do, but <laughs> I'm blown away by the generosity. Thank you so much. And you guys got me. You got me. <laughs> I just thank you so very, very, very much. Thank you.